We are perched on the outskirts of the TRAPPIST-1 system, an amazing collection of seven Earth-sized planets closely orbiting a star that is barely bigger than Jupiter and much cooler than our Sun. First discovered by the ground-based TRAPPIST telescope in 2016, the full nature of the system was revealed a year later from extensive observations by NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope in conjunction with other facilities on the ground and in space. We first travel to one of the outer worlds, known as TRAPPIST-1F. Although 10 times closer to its star than Mercury is to our Sun, this planet is still far enough away from the feeble heat of TRAPPIST-1 to be colder than Mars. Astronomers thus envision this planet as a possibly icy, frozen world. Looking back towards the star, we now approach the inner, warmer planets. From here we can see the innermost planet TRAPPIST-1b passing directly in front of its star, blocking some of the light. Astronomers search for planets around distant stars by looking for dips in their brightness caused by transits like this. Spitzer is particularly sensitive to the glow of cool stars like TRAPPIST-1, allowing for highly precise measurements. Turning away from the star, far to its left, we see the next planet out, TRAPPIST-1c. By every measurement we can currently make, including size, temperature, and density, it could well be the twin of our own planet Venus. Just to the right of this cloudy world, we can see a small blue planet that from here appears bigger than the moon does in our own sky. It's our next stop, the water world. TRAPPIST-1d is the smallest of all these worlds, about four-fifths as big as the Earth, and it has the lowest density. Planetary models suggest it could harbor up to 250 times as much water as found in all of Earth's oceans. On the left side of this blue planet, we can make out our final destination, TRAPPIST-1e. We end our journey with the most tantalizing of these worlds. It's the closest match in size and density to the Earth of any known exoplanet. While it may be a little cooler, it could very possibly support liquid water on its surface. For this reason, we illustrate TRAPPIST-1e as something like a sibling to our home world. Remarkably, we now know more about the planets of TRAPPIST-1 than any others found outside the solar system. Measurements made by Spitzer, working in conjunction with other telescopes, have enabled astronomers to calculate the mass and density of these seven worlds with unmatched precision. And we will continue to scrutinize them, to learn more about their makeup, and even look for biosignatures in our ongoing search for life in the universe.